what's up you guys and welcome back to another vlog all right you guys i am at the hospital where i go see my ob <sighs> I don't even know how to feel, y'all. I'm bringing y'all along with me on this journey. Um, I don't know where to start because the last video I did for you guys was the pregnancy test. Um, this is the initial appointment with my OB. I'll probably do blood work. And, you know, the normal stuff they do on your first visit. Hi. She's just staring all in my dang face. But I just told Bay I had uh, to take my mom somewhere. But as y'all can see, I'm by myself. Um, I'm still keeping it a secret. I don't know if I'm making a good choice or bad choice. I low key think Bay already know, but he's just not saying anything. Because I've had a few instances where he pretty much seen what was going on like you know what i mean um he's seen my prenatals <laughs> but i'll talk to y'all when i get upstairs my initial you know intake for the pregnancy see how it's going as everything you know going as planned. due date you know weight check blood work all that good stuff and i'm bringing y'all along with me I need company because I'm still alone and I didn't tell anybody. It's still a secret, so let's go. somebody like Bay or my mom but I'm just trying to do things differently I still haven't told anyone like maybe two people but they're not like in my circle circle like I told a co-worker and my YouTube bestie knows and one other person knows but not too much because the people I really, really want to surprise, they don't know yet. Like my mom, my sister, baby, the kids. And according to my app, I'm like seven weeks exactly. I've already felt the nausea. Like I've been, nause I've been nauseated all day it feel like it only stops from eating and um for breast nipples are sore um a lot of fatigue um and a lot of frequent bathroom trips but that's expected right um, I'm just hoping I get an ultrasound today. I'm really, really hoping to make sure that the baby is positioned where it's supposed to be and stuff like that. And to see if I'm having just one or multis, you know what I mean? Because it does run in my family. <sighs> but I feel I would, I would probably, and um, they're big on no cameras. Um, in the doctor's offices, but y'all know me. I'ma try to get some type of footage for y'all, but if I can't, I'll just fill y'all in once I leave. Um, but I'm really hoping to see baby. I'm still in like denial. The only time I really, really kicks in is when I'm nauseous. And yeah. That's me. <laughs> I think she said get this to you. She said get a clipboard to you, I think. Oh, 
No surgery? Appendix, gallbladder, tonsils? No. You have two boys, one girl? Yes. And all pretty healthy? Yes. And I think you had one miscarriage, right? Yes. And how long have you been with your partner? Since I was 17. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Holy shimoli. Did you hear that? Good for you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, we're gonna uh, step outside and we're gonna have you uh, undress from uh, uh, waist down. Okay. And we'll, uh, we'll take a uh, look, okay? Oops. Okay, y'all. So I do get to get an ultrasound. He wants me to dress, undress from the waist down. Here's the room. Just, y'all see the monitor. I ain't gonna be able to record, but I'll definitely come back to the camera every time they leave out. I think I'm situated. I can't believe I'm doing this. Like, I'm coming in here like I'm just a pro. He asking me my little questions. Um, literally was just here almost four years ago, so it ain't nothing new. I'm just nervous because I'm alone and I'm hoping. What? <laughs> a little, and there's only one. Good. You are about seven weeks. Seven weeks. Yeah, I used the app and it said that, but I was like, I'm gonna wait till y'all tell me. That circle is umbilical cord or yolk sac, and that's the. That's the baby. Wow. If you look really carefully, you can see your heartbeat. There's a little line. You want to hear it? Yeah. Okay, try not to move. In one second. I doubt there's two of them, but there is two little circles there, okay? What that mean, though? <laughs> Do you see the two little circles? Yeah. I think it's just a cord making a loop like okay. a circle. But there is a small chance another baby might uh, pop up, okay? Wow. Very, very small. So I wouldn't tell that to anybody. Oh, I won't. <laughs> until, uh, until we're 100% sure. There okay. is a cyst on your ovary. It is. Do you see that on your right side? That big black hole? Yeah. So sometimes you might get a little bit of a, a pain on it. It'll go away around 14 weeks. Oh, it just randomly came? Uh, it usually comes from, it creates hormones to support the pregnancy. So but sometimes it causes a little bit of a, a pain. Okay. Yeah, there is a two little circle, isn't it? Ooh. I'll keep my fingers crossed there's only one. Oh my yeah. God, he said he keeps seeing that two little circles. Yeah. <laughs> we, don't, we don't want to. Y'all, I could be. He didn't, I know y'all heard him. He think he see two. He said I'm too, I'm not far long enough to know because it could split into two, but he keeps seeing two holes that it could be two umbilical cords or something like that, y'all. I don't know. Swims, swim. Where have you been? Y'all, let me get dressed. <laughs> this is, I'm just glad this is like pre recorded because by the time y'all see this, it'll be confirmed if it swims or not. But now I gotta wait three weeks to find out if it's one fetus or two. Cause he said he's seen 
a whole, I think I got that on camera. He told me I could record. I was so excited when he said that because the other side where they do the ultrasounds at, it has signs in there that say you can't record, but he let me record and he said he see, um, he possibly might see another one, but he can't confirm it yet. It's too soon. And he also said I have a, a, a cyst on my cervix. So I think that's what he said. But tomorrow I might tell Bay. I might just tell him today because I'm tired of not telling him and I don't be feeling well and I don't be knowing what to say. I just say I don't feel good, but it's really I'm nauseated. So he prescribed me nauseating pills. Oh, he's worried about my blood pressure because I came here six months ago for my pap smear. And he said my blood pressure was testing a little higher then. And then he said it's testing a little high now. So that worries me. I'm getting older, not younger. And I, that scares me because my mom, you know, deals with diabetes. I think my dad deals with like high cholesterol and stuff like that. So I don't want to have high blood pressure issues and he prescribed me medication for that and prenatals which i'm already taking <laughs> but i'm gonna go hey <clears throat> hey guys just tapping back in because i'm doing random videos if you haven't noticed um with my pregnancy journey and stuff like that and um the last clip was me at my first OB appointment, which I went along. Um, it's been a few days. Excuse me. <laughs> my nails are dirty. Ew. Um, it's been like a few days, y'all, since I picked up the camera for the pregnancy because like, I'm still currently vlogging, trying not to give away any hints that I'm pregnant on the channel and um i'm doing good with all my other social medias it's quite easy not to speak on it but doing my normal daily vlogs i be nauseous and i be wanting to say that or i'm craving this or craving that and i don't want to use the word craving because like my new craving is um orange juice today i am currently seven weeks five days yeah seven weeks five days every tuesday i'll turn a week so this tuesday approaching i'll be eight weeks i don't get to go to my ob again until i'm like 10 weeks which is cool and fine because y'all seen in the previous clip this man talking about it might be twins 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 but i don't think so or he would have you know elaborated more he just was assuming i guess i don't know why he even brought that up if he know i ain't having twins but we'll find out at the next appointment. I'm just basically here trying to update y'all on my current symptoms. Like today was my first time throwing up. I ate some pizza. It was good while I was eating it. It had sausage, mushrooms, roasted tomatoes, um, cheese. Um, I think it, it had pepperoni. It was like a meat lover's um, pizza my niece bought for me um, gave to me last night when I came and picked her up from work Bay does know that I'm pregnant you guys okay this is what I was gonna tell you guys it was super super cute cause I was nervous like I ain't gonna lie like I was nervous telling him because like I said we have talked about having more kids it just wasn't given a um, exact time frame because like I said Zamir was Delonte was planned Zamir was planned like I was like tracking my ovulation and everything with them and um like doing how you see on sitcoms and stuff like bae looking at the time it's time we need to go we did like that with the first two but like i said like, ziana we were just we just got settled we didn't we weren't even settled in when we moved to az before we got pregnant with her we was sneaking and geeking you know like creeping like because we you know i'm gonna go into detail but we were sneaking around and that's how Ziana got here she still was made out of love I don't want to take that away from her she was definitely not a mistake she was just untimed it was um unplanned and 
um, wrong timing, I guess. Because we had just got here. We didn't even have any freaking furniture, you guys. It was just crazy. But we got ish together, as you can see, before she even got here. So I was kind of nervous about this pregnancy, but I'm starting to adapt to it a little more. Like, okay. Okay, so like I've been hiding this pregnancy. Okay. I have slipped up and my true people that I feel like really be engaging in the um, video seen, um, I forget which video, but I'm gonna put it right here. I did that vlog and that was like my real natural reaction that day. Like I opened up my period app and discovered I was four days late while I was vlogging. So I shared that with you guys on some personal stuff, but like, I don't know. A lot of y'all didn't catch on, but my sister did because, like I said in other videos, my mom had jumped in the car like two days later. I had to take her somewhere and she gets in the car all ecstatic like, you pregnant, boo? And I'm looking at her like, no. Like, who told you that I was pregnant? And she's like, well, your sister was saying something about one of your videos said you was pregnant. I said, no, nah, I was just doing that for views. Like, <laughs> I said, I'd be lying to the vlog sometime to see who paying attention. That's what I told her. So my mom still doesn't currently know. My sister still doesn't currently know. And like yesterday I was over at her house. She was trying to get me to drink. She's like, let's day drink. And I just never responded, like change the subject type of thing. Because girl, no, like I think she know, but I think is it more me because I know I'm hiding something that I feel pressured every time I'm around her that she's trying to get me to announce it or something. I don't know. Because even when I went back home to Wisconsin, we are at my sister's house and not to be, you know, spreading her business. It was a situation that she had said, like, um, yeah, she need to be taking one of them. Like, it was like a pregnancy test or whatever. And I'm just looking at my sister like, what are you even talking about? Like... And it was really hard for me when I went back home not to drink because, of course, I was there for a funeral. And what does families do after funerals? They eat and drink. And it's like, I was, that was easy for me because it was so many people around. So I had one of my cousins just fill me up a clear cup with lemonade in it. And I was sipping it slowly, trying to get people to think, you know, oh, she's drinking, a, um, she's drinking alcohol because then nobody would offer me any alcohol. I did pretty good even my sister that's her thing like we drink together and stuff so like when we went to the store i just let her purchase the alcohol and i was like i'm gonna share with you you know what i mean so when we got back to her house i did pour me like a shot no actually she poured me the shot i was going she had poured me like a triple it was like a double shot and i just was like and she should have known something was up because I was like, let me get some cranberry. Like, and she watered it down with cranberry. And then like when she weren't, when she wasn't looking, I was discarding it in the sink. And then other people were coming over and stuff. So it was easier for me to um, pretend like I was drinking. And then like, she probably still to this day don't know. But um, yeah, my sister doesn't know. My sister stays back home. She doesn't know currently y'all nobody knows like that's like in my life in my circle that i would love to share this with i just thought because this is my four, fourth pregnancy i wanted to like surprise everybody in a cute little way or whatever um because i didn't get those opportunities in the beginning like i wish i was youtubing when i had lante i was not i didn't even have youtube when i had zamir so did i no, I didn't have, um, yeah, my baby's seven, so no. I didn't um, have YouTube when I had Zamir, and I wish I did, so that's why I'm on it right now, like, trying to vlog every little thing that I can, but, like, I don't want to use all my storage either because I'm doing both, trying to, like, run the regular channel and do my pregnancy journey as well without, you know, doing too much, so I'm going to be clustering a lot of different clips together and stuff but i'm gonna end this one here i'm just gonna go i'm just running my mouth right now like i'm so excited but like today was my first time throwing up i just constantly feel nauseated like this morning i was gagging when i woke up and stuff like that but back to bay like 
there were several instances where he could have known that I was pregnant. Like, first of all, I showed him. He usually watches my videos. Like, he goes on, like, a binge. Like, he go cray-cray and watch my videos for, like, a week straight. And then I don't hear from him, you know? And that's cool and that's fine. You know what I mean? He's, like, my biggest supporter. So, I don't even trip on him. But I noticed he didn't watch that video when I said I was late. Because he would have said something. So, I'm like texting him on facebook like babe you haven't seen um you need to watch my youtube video and he was like yeah he'll watch it or whatever and i knew he was lying because he never responded back to it because i think i had sent the emojis like the excited emoji or something but he never said nothing so then i found another little funny clip i don't know i can't put it in the video but it was like this um clip of a couple like every time the man tickled or tried to play with his girlfriend she turned around and she was pregnant like any little thing she he did with her she he um she turned up pregnant it was cute so i excuse me y'all i'm blaming this on the baby because i ain't even had no soda or nothing why am i belching like this all i had was water crazy anyway um and yeah i'm gonna be that pregnant mom like i don't care i'm gonna juice this this might be my last pregnancy like it's crazy so anyhow anyhow so um, that video i sent to him and he i remember him replying like are you trying to tell me something and i think i didn't even say nothing to that so then um i had to after the first video that y'all seen with me taking the actual pregnancy set at home I have set up another appointment at a clinic so I can get proof of pregnancy. So if I have to show um, anyone for insurance purposes or stuff like that, that I would have it. So I had snook and done that by myself. He didn't even know that I was there doing that. And I lied and said something about my mom needing to go to the doctor after I got off of work. So then after that, another thing, like, my baby know that I drink, like, we don't drink heavy all the time. Like, we don't drink cognac every day, but, like, sometimes we get, like, Mike's Hards or, like, cut water and stuff like that. And I'll just have one drink, you know, when the kids are down and stuff like that. So lately, he's been noticing that I haven't been doing that. Like, what is wrong with this girl? Like, <laughs> what's wrong with her and i remember we i was at walmart getting my last minute stuff for me going back home to wisconsin and he was like get us some liquor and i'm just like i don't want any but what do you want and he was like why you ain't been drinking lately that's so strange because the day before that he had brought me a little can a personal can for me to drink at home and i didn't drink it you guys because i just y'all know why i didn't drink it but he didn't know I tried to pretend like I was exhausted because I've been doing a lot, a lot of overtime. So, yeah. And then, um, after that, oh, after I got proof of pregnancy, I went and picked up some prenatals because I'm pregnant. Okay. I've been pregnant before. I don't need a doctor to tell me I need prenatals. So I went and got me some over-the-counter prenatals while I was at Walmart that day. And I bought him some Jose Cuero, I remember. And I brought it back home. And I hid the proof of pregnancy paper because, like, he's my man. I, he always in my purse, in my business. Don't ask for permission or none of that. So he was going in my purse looking for a lighter or something. And he reached in there and I'm washing dishes. He like, why do you have prenatals? No, and then in Walmart, he did make a, um accusation when um he said, why aren't you drinking? He was like, I hope ain't nobody got you knocked up. <laughs> what you mean, nobody got me knocked up? Boy, if anybody got me knocked up, is you stop playing with me. So I didn't even entertain that. Like, hung up on him. Like, stop playing with me. So then... When I got home, he found the prenatals. This man still not saying nothing. I'm sending him all these signs because I just don't know how to just let it roll off my tongue and just say I'm pregnant. So, um, after that, you guys, I just looked at him and he was like, what are these prenatals for? And I'm just giving him the stare and he giving me the stare. I'm just like, and we didn't even speak on it and we moved forward. So then moving forward, a few more days passed. It was my ultrasound time, like my OB appointment, like this video that I'm currently doing now. Um, I went 
to my OB appointment and stuff without him and lied again and told him I was taking my mama to a doctor's appointment and I'll be right back, yada, yada, yada. Y'all got to the doctor's appointment. I mean, after the doctor's appointment, I had to go pick up my prescriptions. And I don't know why I was just moving like this man already knew. But he went with me and I remember laying in bed like and he'd been seeing that I haven't been feeling well and I've been doing a lot of sleeping. But again, I've been doing overtime. So he don't know if it's from me just being overworked or just or what. You know what I mean? He don't know what to assume or think. So y'all, we get to we get to Walgreens. It's it's Valentine's Day. I told him on Valentine's Day. What I really didn't tell him is like he found out on Valentine's Day. I was gonna tell him like anyway. So I'm sitting at the pharmacy. We go in together and um, the pharmacy lady was like, do you want the pharmacist to go over the uh, medications and you know how to take them and da -da -da -da. And I'm like, yeah. So I went over there to sit down, but I guess he said he claimed he didn't see me. So the man talking to me and he's like, cause I told y'all in the beginning, he gave me something for my blood pressure, prenatals and iron, I think. I don't know. I was picking up three medications and then he was talking about morning sickness, morning sickness. And he was like, for the pregnancy, he was using words like that. And Bay was walking past because he was looking for me. He said, pregnancy, you pregnant while well, I'm talking to the pharmacist. So I'm just like, yes, sir. Like, give me my medicine so I could go about my way. So we get in the line. So we leave in. We in like aisle six, random ass aisle. And he's all like, so you're pregnant? And I just like, no, y'all. I just was like looking sad because I didn't know what his reaction was. Was he going to be upset with me or, you know, I didn't know. Like, I ain't going to lie. Like, I thought he wasn't going to be happy. So I was just like, yeah, I'm pregnant. And he was like why didn't you say anything and i'm just like because look how you're reacting but at the time i didn't know how he was reacting because i wasn't giving him any eye contact i was just listening to his voice it was like heightened like you're pregnant so i didn't know if that was excitement or disappointment or what so i'm just walking like a walk of shame past the register we're leaving now and he just keeps repeating like oh my god you're pregnant why didn't you tell me you were pregnant and then i just started crying y'all like oh. he's like why are you crying i said because i thought you were gonna be upset with me he's like what i'm not upset with you i just i just wanted you i just wanted to know like how long have you known he was like you didn't have to do this alone so he, you went to the doctor by yourself he's like this is like our fourth kid i was like i wanted to surprise you and make it cute <laughs> he was like you don't have to surprise me babe it's our fourth kid like you didn't have to do all of that <laughs> and i'm sitting here he's driving and stuff and he's like rubbing my leg and like comforting me and stuff but I really thought he was going to be upset. And like I told him about the ultrasound and I let him see the video I recorded and um, told him that they think it's twins. He was even entertaining the idea that it's twins. He wants twin baby girls, this and that. And y'all, he was accepting and he was excited just like me. So it's just like I'm. I'm head over heels, falling madly back in love with this man just because of his reaction because I really thought I was like in trouble or something. I don't know, y'all. I'm weird like that. I thought Bay was gonna really be freaking mad. Like he was not mad at me at all. And I I didn't capture it on camera because I didn't want to actually capture it on camera because I thought he was gonna embarrass me. Like I really thought he was gonna freaking embarrass me. So I was like, no, nah, I'm gonna do it. I don't know what I was going to do, but at some point that night, I was going to tell him that I'm pregnant, but because I had all the proof and everything. And so, yeah, that's where we're at, you guys. I'm four weeks, five days today. Um, This is going to be a super long vlog. I don't care. Y'all know how I am with my vlogs. Y'all going to sit here and watch or you're not. 
this is my pregnancy journey and I want to document it all. I just want to document it all and I'm not going to let social media make me feel ashamed because I'm happy that I'm pregnant and like the good, the bad, all of that. I want to take it like I'm freaking sick. I want to come on here and tell y'all I'm sick. If I'm craving this, I'm going to come on here and tell y'all I'm craving this. I don't want to let this pregnancy get me down like with me having blood pressure he does want me to work out but not like excessively work out he just wants me to be active like walk more daily and stuff so i'm gonna start going to the gym i'm gonna try to get cute you know i'm not gonna be like big and pregnant and ugly like i'm trying to still step and do my big one you know this pregnancy because i didn't do that in the past like I don't know if I'm going to do maternity pictures and stuff like that, but y'all will see. Like, I'm so freaking excited about this pregnancy, and I'm not going to let anybody stand on, you know, interfere with my happiness and my joy. Like, I'm just so ecstatic. I don't even have any fears that I've had in my other pregnancies. I feel like I'm a freaking pro at this point. But, yeah, um, that's all I wanted to say. I took a lot of you guys' time and things, but... I'll be picking back up the camera when I go to my next appointment. I'm going to continue on with the vlogs and eventually you guys will see these videos and y'all be like, oh my gosh, she was pregnant all this time. But thank y'all for tuning in. But I'm going to conclude the video here. If you're enjoying the content or if you want to be part of my pregnancy journey and you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Turn on those post notification bells and I'm going to catch y'all all in the next video. Bye.